Hello, good people of the earth. It is Jackie with Free Control, and today our buddy Cameron Beal is going to do a two part how to. Uh, first off, he's going to show us how to repair an XLR cable, and uh, he's going to also show us how to make a microphone um, out of an old speaker. So, check it out. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to take one of your old broken cables, fix the cable, and um, with only one extra connector, uh, turn the little strip of cable into a sub mic for a kick drum or a bass amp um, for lots of the low frequency stuff. So you just snip your cable off, and uh, you first thing you want to do is remove this right here. This uh, and this cup right here is like the stress relief for the cable. So you just want to bend that out of the way to release the cable. Once you have that disconnected, um, this little piece that came out was the uh, was for the ground that goes and just slides right back in there. All right. Now this is the piece that you're going to be soldering back onto the cable to. Um, you know, fix your mic cable that was previously broken. So you just strip off the end of the cable. Be careful to only strip the outside, the, the black rubber part. You don't want to cut into the cable at all. There you go. And now this exposed cable right here, this is the ground that'll go on pin one of your XLR connector. And the string right here, that's just for the tension of the cable, you can just snip that off. You can just take them all and twist them together. Then you want to take your strippers and get down to get the positive and negative wires down to just the bare wire. You can see that this is the hot, that it's red, the coating on the outside. And just twist the end. And this white one is the negative. So when you have your positive, negative, and your ground all twisted and exposed, you're ready to go. And for XLR cables, you want them approximately like the same, the same length as you come out. So, so that's pretty close. First thing you want to do is you want to tin the tip of all of your wires. Right here, pin one. It's this one right here. So that'll be your ground, which is this exposed one right here. Do your pin two, which is on the other side. into right here. Which is your hot, which is this red one. And 
Alright, and then three is your cold. Last thing you want to do is if you have a little extra exposed wire, you can take and pull the sleeving up a little bit. To cover up a little more of the wire. If you can't pull the wire up far enough to cover up all this exposed wire, you, you should use heat shrink. Um, and, you know, it's, it's never a bad idea. You can see how the, um, the rubber cover comes right up to where the, where the clamp holds the cable. Just take your pliers and squeeze. All right, and you're all set. You can put the cover on now. And then you can see this hole right here lines up with this hole back here. Here's your cable. You've fixed your broken cable, and now you have just a little bit of extra to do the sub kick mic.